Millions of viewers took notice of Diane Guerrero in Orange is the New Black, the actress who portrayed inmate Maritza Ramos for the first five seasons of the series. It wasn't easy for her to stand out among the massive cast, but Guerrero still managed to steal scenes. If you want more pizza, vote for Maritza. After the fifth season of Orange is the New Black ended in chaos, the action of the show shifted to Litchfield's maximum security sister prison and some characters suddenly disappeared from the show, most notably Maritza Ramos. Narratively, Maritza was probably just sent to a different prison, but there are also some behind-the-scenes reasons for the fan-favorite character's departure. Here's why Diane Guerrero's character went missing from the series. Conflicting interests a lot of actors struggle to find enough work to both make ends meet and find creative fulfillment. But Diane Guerrero doesn't seem to have that problem. In 2017 and 2018, Guerrero was part of the cast of multiple high-profile TV series. In addition to her work on Orange is the New Black, Guerrero also kept up a recurring gig on the CW's comedic telenovela Jane the Virgin. Since the show premiered in 2014, Guerrero has occasionally portrayed Lena, co-worker and best friend to main character Jane. As a supporting character, Lena has shown up in over 20 episodes of the series. With so many acting roles at her disposal, Guerrero had to choose which ones she could do, and Orange is the New Black, for whatever reason, wound up as the odd show out. Superior Choices Rather than appear in the New York State set Orange is the New Black, Guerrero chose to act 3,000 miles away in Hollywood on the CBS sitcom Superior Donuts. Based on a play of the same name by Pulitzer Prize winner Tracy Letts, Superior Donuts is set as a donut shop in a culturally diverse neighborhood of Chicago. In the second season of the show, Guerrero joined the cast as Sophia, a Colombian-American food truck owner who serves healthy food outside the donut shop, and who serves as a love interest for main character Franco. That relationship could have developed into something special if CBS hadn't cancelled it in 2018. But still, it takes a lot of time to film even a supporting role in a TV series, which makes it hard for an actor to be in two shows at the same time. And it seemed that Guerrero went with donuts over oranges. Crazy Jane Guerrero certainly didn't waste any time finding a new gig. On the same weekend that Orange is the New Black's sixth season premiered in July 2018, came news that Guerrero had landed a starring role in Doom Patrol, an upcoming series for the brand new DC Universe streaming service. The show is based on a comic book team of misfit heroes and anti-heroes, including Robot Man, Elasti Woman, and the character Guerrero is set to play, Crazy Jane. Guerrero has her work cut out for her portraying Jane, a hugely complex character with 64 separate personalities, each one possessing a different superpower. Doom Patrol is headed into production in late 2018 for a 2019 premiere on the DC Universe streaming service. Big Issues Immigration is one of today's most intensely debated issues, and the issue hits particularly close to home for Diane Guerrero. In 2001, 14-year-old Guerrero's parents were arrested by immigration officials for staying in the U.S. after their visas expired. I came home from school one day um, when I was, it was at the beginning of high school. Um, it was my freshman year in high school, and then they were gone. Guerrero's family was deported back to Colombia, but since she was born in the US, she stayed and lived with friends and neighbors until she finished high school. Guerrero spends as much time as she can at speaking engagements, discussing the plight of immigrants and detainees. In 2016, she wrote a memoir called In the Country We Love, and in 2018, she adapted it into a book for children called My Family Divided. That's my story, and what am I doing if I'm not if I'm not contributing uh, to this issue in some way. And of course, being this politically active and outspoken doesn't leave much time in the schedule for acting in quirky streaming dramedies. Leading Lady Guerrero seems ready to headline a show of her own, as opposed to being part of another large ensemble cast. In 2016, CBS commissioned a pilot based on Guerrero's memoir, with Guerrero set to star. Deadline claims that the pilot was about a wealthy corporate attorney who confronts her past as a child of deported parents by taking on cases for undocumented immigrants. According to Variety, CBS ultimately said no to that pilot. Still, who knows what the future may hold? There's always a chance the series could still find a footing. Back in Black 
Marita was nowhere to be found in Orange is the New Black's sixth season, presumably stuck in some unseen prison far away from the remnants of Litchfield. But with its multiple perspectives and frequent use of flashbacks, Orange has never been a predictable series. There's always the possibility that, in the seventh season, Marita and any of the other absent favourites will come back. Orange is the New Black executive producer Tara Herman teased as much to The Hollywood Reporter, saying that they don't want to abandon any part of the world they've so intricately set up and presented. She said, If the story takes us there, it has to be organic for us. We never want to suddenly be in a world that we haven't set up, but we love these characters and miss them as storytellers for sure, so we hope to always see them. Hopefully that means fans can look forward to seeing Maritza again in the future.